It's a big matchup this weekend as St. Cloud State hits the road against Minnesota State, a battle between number one and number two. Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Wrench and welcome to your Men's Husky Hockey Weekend Preview sponsored by Edina Realty. The Huskies started out the new season with a win on Saturday against the University of St. Thomas in a brutal first game ending with a score of 12-2. Kevin Fitzgerald led the team in scoring with four points, scoring in the first and second periods while assisting on goals in the second and third. Three other Huskies scored two goals in the game, one including junior forward Chase Brand, senior forward Easton Brodzinski, and junior forward Yami Kronola. The Tommies were able to keep the score closer going into the second game on Sunday with a score of 2-0. The sweep marks the first time the Huskies swept a home-on-home -home series since 2016. The Huskies start the season 2-0 and look to add to their winning streak this weekend against Minnesota State Mankato. Easton Brodzinski became the 37th member of the St. Cloud State's 100-point club with three points in Game 1 against the University of St. Thomas as he recorded his 56th and 57th career goals and 44th career assist. Easton finished off last season leading the team in goals, scoring 13 before an injury shortened his season in the NCAA tournament. St. Cloud State goes into the new week, still ranked number two in the USCHO poll. The Huskies trail behind the new number one team, Minnesota State Mankato. This past weekend, Mankato swept the defending national champions, UMass, pushing them back to the number seven spot. On the other side of things, St. Cloud State took number one in the USA Today poll, with Minnesota State coming in at number two. This weekend will be a heated series between the number one and number two teams. Minnesota State Mankato, who also started out the season 2-0, will be an intense matchup going into this weekend. The last time St. Cloud State saw Mankato was at the Frozen Four tournament last April. St. Cloud beat Mankato 5-4 and advanced to the NCAA championship for the first time in program history. I'm here with Mick Hatton from The Rink Live. Mick, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Mick, what can we expect this weekend as number one Mankato takes on number two St. Cloud? Well, I mean, it's uh, you know big rematch, obviously, from the national semifinals from, from last season, so that's extremely exciting. You, Mankato coming off a massive sweep out at uh, UMass. I don't think anybody anticipated that, maybe even not the, the Mavericks themselves, but, uh, you know, for St. Cloud State, they had an interesting series against St. Thomas. Uh, they played a game where they put everything together in, in, on one night. You know, the second game, they had to kind of grind it out a little bit more, which actually Brett Larson kind of liked. I'm anticipating that it's going to be really close, uh, you know, a couple of really close hockey games, probably one goal games both nights. I'm excited about it because, uh, you know, these are two great hockey teams. Dryden McKay and David Rennick, what can we expect from this huge matchup? Uh, yeah, two great goaltenders. Uh, you know, when you look at McKay, he was a top three finalist for the, for the Hobie Baker Award last season had a just tremendous season. He's on the brink of setting the uh, NCAA record for most shutouts in a career, so that's huge. Uh, David Rennick, all-time career leader in, in shutouts for St. Cloud State. Uh, David's playing with a lot of confidence. I mean, you saw that, I think, over the weekend. I uh, only gave up one goal in the, in the two games. With McKay, St. Cloud State, for whatever reason, has had some success against him. Uh, five goals uh, in the national semifinals seven goals uh, against him the year before down at the uh, University of Minnesota. But uh, St. Cloud State's going to want to try and take his eyes away from him. Uh, that's going to be one thing. Can they get enough traffic out front, uh, you know, for St. Cloud State? Can Rennick, you know, continue uh, to play the way he is? All right, Meg, obviously a big matchup this weekend. What Husky will put St. Cloud over Mankato? Well, I think a guy that, uh, you know, has the ability to do that is senior defenseman uh, Nick Perbix. Uh, when when Nick is really playing on top of his game, he can control the pace of games out there. Uh, can be a difference maker also on the power play and on the penalty kill. He's a shot blocker. And there was a stretch of about 15 games last season where he could just take games over. Uh, if he can play that way against Mankato, he could be a difference. Thanks, Mick. Number one versus number two, St. Cloud State versus Minnesota State this weekend. Tune in to flowhockey.tv to catch all the live action. I'm Michaela Wrench here with Mick Hatton. This has been your Men's Husky Hockey Weekend Preview, sponsored by Edina Realty.